This is a really great book on complex variables. It's called Complex Variables, Harmonic and Analytic Functions. And it was written by Francis J. Flanagan. And it's a Dover book, which means that this book was published a long time ago and then reprinted by this company called Dover, which reprints old books. Dover Publications, Inc., New York. Complex Variables, Harmonic and Analytic Functions, Francis J. Flanagan, San Diego State University, California. Let's see if we can find the date on this. Here's the copyright, 1972. Wow, that was a long time ago. Then this one, so this Dover edition, first published in 1983, is an unabridged, so they didn't change it, and corrected republication of the work originally published in 1972 by Allen and Bacon, Inc., Boston. Cool. Chapter one, Calculus in the Plane. I'm actually uh, aware of, um, I just have to mention this, Allen and Bacon. I have books that um, have been published by them, so that's kind of interesting. Other books. Calculus in the Plane. Okay, so domains in the xy plane, plane curves, harmonic functions in the plane. By the way, before I go through the contents, what do you need in order to read this? Um, calculus, right? As long as you have some calculus, you can, you can jump into this. You might not necessarily have to go through all the proofs, but you can do a lot of it. Um, you can do a lot of the computational stuff, uh, and all you do is you just need some calculus. Harmonic functions in the plane. Some basic properties. Harmonic functions as steady state temperatures. The mean value properties of harmonic functions. The maximum principle. Cool. Let's turn the page. Some more stuff here. By the way, this book does have some answers, so that's pretty good. Complex numbers and complex functions. Integrals of analytic functions. Analytic functions and power series. Singular points on Laurent. There's tons of stuff in here. The residue theorem and the argument principle. Analytic functions as conformal mappings. And then you have some suggestions for further reading and solutions to selected problems. Uh, you know what? I want to start with the suggestions for further reading. I, I really do. I know it sounds like a weird place to like all of a sudden look. It's like, hey, let's look at that. But let's just look there. Just see what they have. Some other introductory text. So, okay, so they refer. Okay, so this is good. So I have this one, Complex Variables and Applications by Churchill. That's, that's the most popular complex variables book ever written. Um, it's just really popular. It's a great book. There's other books, though, that are also good. What's this one? Introduction to Analytic Functions by Kaplan. Complex Variables by Levinson and Redheffer. I have that one. And Theory and Problems of Complex Variables. 1964. That might be the Shams. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it is. I have the Shams complex variables. That's really, really good. Um, the Shams complex variables is probably the best Shams math book out there. Like if you're going to get a Shams, a Shams outline, it's a series of books where they go over stuff and they have a lot of examples. The, the complex variables one is, is excellent. Let me show you the answers in this book so you can see that there are answers and so you can kind of get an idea of, you know, how many you get. So just, just so you can see like how much text you see on the page, you know, and how many numbers you see will give you an idea of how much you actually get in terms of answers. So you get some answers. Um, it's just selected exercises. It's definitely better than none. A lot of books have uh, no answers, a lot of older books. And this is an older book, right? Uh, and this was reprinted. A while, right? A while after. When, when was this one? The one I'm holding in my hand is actually old too, if you think about it. Um, yeah, this is published in, in 83, so I wonder if like the one I'm holding in my hand was published. No, I'd probably not, because it has a price on it, you see? So I doubt that was the price in 83. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But yeah, maybe. Who knows? One of the really fun things about old books, I was thinking about 83, is a lot of old books used to have advertisements in them, and sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes you would see advertisements in them, and you'd have like old advertisements for very strange things. Yeah, here's other Dover books that you can get. 
So I think this is a good book for someone who um, is interested in learning um, some complex variable stuff. Um, you, you could definitely pick this up and do some self-study. You can learn some stuff. It's got a lot of different topics. For example, let's just say that you try to learn some stuff and you don't understand it. Then you can try to learn something like this, right? Five, analytic functions and power series. I mean, you could start here, right? I mean, if you know some calculus, why not? Right? It says, uh, in chapter four, we developed the machinery of complex line integration. Okay, we skipped all that. Let's see if we can keep going. Use this to prove the Cauchy integral theorem and formula. And at last derived from these a host of marvelous consequences, okay? All right. And then here, it just the first math I see is this uh, infinite series here, which we're already familiar with. Right? If you know calculus, that's e to the x, right? Here it's just x, e, x, p, z, so they're just, it's e to the z, where z is a complex, uh, you know, it's a complex number, right? It could be a, it's, it's a complex variable, right? We, it could be a complex number. Hence, complex variables, right? harmonic and analytic functions. That's the name of the book. So we have the power series, an infinitely long polynomial, they say. Then here we have series of real numbers. So this is all stuff that's pretty basic. Right? So I think like if you've had some calculus, and then here's the real Cauchy convergence criterion. Cool. We can talk about series of complex numbers. And a lot, a lot of the same series tests uh, that you learn in a Calc 2 class, you can apply to uh, series here. I don't know how much this book, yeah, here they talk about absolute convergence. Um, let's see, yeah, here they have a convergence theorem. Here's one, theorem two. Mm-hmm. Yep. If it's convergent, then we have that that limit is zero and the terms are bounded. Mm -hmm. Cool. Comparison test. Yeah, two is pretty easy. They don't really show a lot of the, um, I was reading the proof, they don't really show a lot of the, uh, of the details of the proof. The proofs are written, um, I mean like that one, they could have showed more details there to show you how they did that. And then you get examples here where it's a lot more clear, I think, and they're showing a lot more work. So it's not a perfect book, but it's certainly a book, I think, worth owning if you are a collector of math books or if you like math or if you're just looking for an interesting math book that has different math in it. Um, yeah, this was not my first complex. My first complex variables book, by the way, was also a Dover book, but it wasn't this one. It was the one by uh, Detman. So that one's also really good, but this one's excellent. This one has a cooler cover. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's Complex Variables uh, by Flanagan. I just wanted to make a video to show you one of my books. Good luck.